So usually when I do these videos, I kind of just go through the, the setup submissions channel on the Workhorse Discord, and I just pull setups and, and PCs at random. But this time around, I've rounded up a bunch of setups that I think are actually really good. So these guys are gonna sort of flex on you today, make you feel really bad about your setups, or maybe not. Maybe you've got a setup that's just as good or even better than these. But I think it's it's always good to occasionally highlight uh, setups that really go the extra mile, just because it's you know it, it can it can give you guys ideas, it can give you guys inspiration. Give me inspiration, honestly, a lot of the time. So I'm just gonna roll through these. We've got about eight or nine of them to go through today, and they're all really nice, in my opinion. You guys let me know what you think, though, and feel free to share at the end of the video which one you think is the absolute best. They're not gonna win anything except for internet bragging rights, which is always fun. All right, let's just dive right in. Shout out to Crucial for sponsoring today's video with their new P5 Plus SSD. The P5 Plus features the latest Gen 4 NVMe protocol with sequential reads and writes up to 6,600 megabytes per second and 5,000 megabytes per second, respectively. Enjoy quicker boot times, faster launching of your apps and games, and top-end performance built to handle the most demanding of tasks. If you need help choosing the right SSD or RAM for your system, you can also check out the Crucial Scanner, which scans your PC to help you find the best components that your system supports. To learn more about the Crucial P5 Plus, click on the link in the description for more info. First one is save yourself. Save, your, save yourself, that's, that's a fun play on words. Okay, Ultron is his main rig. I like the name, I dig it. Intel Core i9-9900K at 5.1 gigahertz. He's got a gigabyte Z390 Aorus Extreme, Corsair Vengeance Pro 64 gigs, DDR4 at 3600, CL18, a bunch of Samsung Samsung storage, some WD storage, his video card is an EVGA GeForce RTX 3090, 24 gig for the Win 3 Ultra. Dang, that is that is a serious card right there. Uh, Lee and Lee O11D XL, Corsair AX power supply, AXI power supply, Corsair L120 fans, bunch of monitors, peripherals, audio stuff. Okay, cool. Um, let's look at the PC first. I know I said setups and stuff uh, just, just now, but uh, we'll take a look at the PCs as well. Uh, and wow, look at that. Oh, PC how to. I should subscribe to this magazine. That looks fun. Unless it's is a really old copy and he just got it there for nostalgia purposes. Anyway, PC looks fantastic. All right, yes, hardline tubing, I approve. Nice classic black and white color scheme, also approve. Nice, I really dig the uh, the cable sleeving right here. It's kind of a unique pattern, you know, normally people just go black or white in a build like this, um, but it looks like it's got some pattern into it and it's not, you know, your conventional cable that you see, so that's really nice. Uh, the bends look really clean here. I think uh, I'm seeing a lot of like parallelism, you know, things are really straight and, and plum. This looks like a pretty tight bend. I wonder if that was tricky at all for you, but it looks like you executed it pretty much perfectly. Um, and I'm digging the fluids, kind of uh, semi-opaque and uh, and whitish. I, I really like that. Cable management is, is on point, 100%. Practically perfect from what I can tell. It also kind of helps that you've got the GPU mounted vertically, so that kind of, uh, you know, hides any other excess cabling that you might have behind there. What is the, okay, that's just the platform for the vertical GPU right, right here on top of the radiator. That is a fat radiator, by the way. The one on the bottom. What is that, like 60 millimeters thick? Something like that. Uh, looks really nice though, dude. Very, very clean. I pretty much don't have anything to critique here. Uh, you, you've done a bang up job. So maybe maybe there will be something on your setup. Then again, if it's in this video, there's probably not too many negative things to say about it. And damn, son. Okay, first of all, those nano leaf panels. How much, how much did that cost you? Nano leaf panels are not cheap. It's one of the reasons why I don't even have them in here, but that, that you could pay your mortgage. I could pay my mortgage with these nano leaf panels, honestly. Okay, uh, but it looks really good. That's quite quite the arrangement of, uh, of panels you've got there. Looks really good though. It spans like pretty much the whole width of your desk, even, even beyond that. It's definitely, definitely makes a statement. I love how you have your PC on the side so you can just see it's like, you know, right when you walk in your room, it's super visible. Nice panel arrangement. The displays look good. You've got a triple panel display. It looks like you've got an ultra wide in the middle and two 60 by nines mounted vertically on either side. You've wall mounted your uh, your middle monitor. I think you wall mounted all of them actually because it looks like the, the panels on the sides are floating a little bit. They're about an inch or so off your desk. Uh, digging the uh, peripheral arrangement. Nice tabletop. I think this looks like Ikea. It looks like an Ikea tabletop. Um, Actually, it might be the exact same tabletop that I'm using right now, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, twins. Let's see, what else you got here? I think there's sort of like a, a designated color scheme, almost like synth wavy, right? Because it's sort of matching in with your with your build as well. I don't know why your build looks a bit more purpley here. Maybe purple and teal, but I think that could just be the camera. But you kind of have that sort of blue and pink teal vibe going on. And I think it looks really nice. What I like about the setup is that it also seems very functional. Like, you know, you've got everything within arm's reach and it's sort of a dual setup area. You've got another setup right here. I'm wondering if you attach like a laptop 
laptop to this, or if that's somehow piped into your PC as well. Um, or if maybe there's another, oh wait, wait, that's a PC right here. Yeah, it looks like an AIO, okay, I've got a power, looks like power supply cable right there, and maybe AIO, yeah, power supply is right here actually, so you maybe have a pass-through. And then this looks like an AIO pump block or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, and then you've got the radiator and fans, I had to zoom in a little bit. Love the display of all the retail boxes, particularly the graphics cards, you gotta show those off, right? Because those are, those are like unicorns right now, so I display them proudly. Uh, I like this model too, that's pretty cool. I wish he was facing the other way. Maybe, maybe have him like pointing inward. I don't know, it, it makes me like wanna find out like what are you looking at? You know, like his line of sight, what's what's he looking at over there? I also like the RGB, I just noticed the RGB behind your, your shelf here definitely kind of uh, makes it seem more like part of your setup as opposed to just like something on the outskirts, you know? Uh, definitely draws your eye in. And I love this Master Chief helmet. You got a lot of cool, like, I don't know, like little accessories and just like fun fun swag that's uh, blinging out your setup as well. Cable management is 100% on point. I think the cable management on your setup is just as good as it is in your PC. And usually it's one or the other or, or neither uh, for most setups that I see. So um, really nice job. I don't see a single, you know, cable out of place really. Obviously you've got cables here, but that's just, you know, from, from, the, from the wall and uh, no cables coming down from your monitor. And I, I kind of like how you've masked all the cables coming out of your PC from behind your rig behind this monitor. That was kind of clever. Nice ambient lighting with the lamp. I dig it. Water bottle, gotta stay hydrated. Uh, and I'm, I'm digging this 60% uh, keyboard too. It looks pretty custom as well. It's a mechanical keyboard. Overall, this is a really clean setup, man. Overall, fantastic. Oh, look, I, I just noticed I keep seeing things. There's so much in this picture. You got a PC on top of this shelf over here as well. I'm wondering if this is connected to any of this or if you've got something else entirely going on to the right side off screen that we can't see. You definitely have a lot of systems here. One, two, three that I'm seeing right now, and who knows how many more rigs uh, have, have graced this room. Overall, fantastic setup, man. I would give it a... I'm not gonna give ratings. I'm not gonna give ratings because that's always that's too subjective and then people always hate me in the comments for it. Really nice. The only thing I would say, if I had to give some critique, uh, would be to maybe like continue this RGB. You've got an RGB strip behind your desk here. I'd like to see that go all the way around and complete the setup. I think it would just tie everything together and look pretty nice and also uh, just shine a bit more light in this corner of the room. Overall though, fantastic job. Next up we have Blumber Kid. This whole setup is just an accumulation of stuff for years, especially during the pandemic and having to work from home. I may as well make this setup comfortable. I don't stream, I just enjoy having quality communication when talking for gaming meetings and I like taking photos for fun. So have some gear that I can use for a webcam. My setup is an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X, Noctua NHD 15 Black, 128 gigs of Corsair DDR4, I would imagine, yes. Uh, 128 gigs of Corsair DDR4, Asus AMD RX 5700R, ROG, X570 Aorus Master, two four terabyte Samsung NVMe drives, nice. Fractal Design 7, Corsair HX850, okay, we've got a bunch of stuff here. Monitors, audio, okay. We'll just dive right into it. Nice, nice keyboard. Ah, oh, this really makes me wanna build one even more. That's a nice coiled cable too, oh my gosh. It's like got glitter in it. What? I want it, I need it, I need it in my life. I love these keycaps, the cherry, ah, oh, that's so sick. All right, PC, oh, hold on, hold on, pause, oh, hold the phone. Your whiskey collection, let's check it out. Oh, nice. You got the Nika 12, boy. The Habiki, Hakush. Oh, Hakush is so good too. You have good taste, my friend. Okay, getting a little distracted here, Kyle. Let's look at the PC. Side panels on, so a little bit of glare here, but um, PC is looking good. Cable management is pretty good. I will say, you already know what I'm gonna say. Get some extensions, get some custom cables for your system. This is a nice build. I think it's worthy. I mean, any rig is worthy of uh, even just like a $30 kit of extensions because these are, this looks really bunched up here. Obviously you have a pretty beefy GPU that takes multiple eight pin connectors and you've got the uh, type of PSU cables that have the additional eight pin, like two eight pins coming off of a single cable, which can get pretty gnarly, especially when you're using multiple plugs. Uh, and then, you know, you gotta zip tie them up and it just doesn't look great. So uh, maybe get that taken care of. Also, your fans up top are actually in uh, an intake configuration. That's interesting how they're oriented this way. I wonder if you were doing some A-B testing and found that you got better temps this way or if it's just a preference thing or if it was an oversight, I'm not sure. Generally speaking though, you have your intake at the front. I'd be very curious to see how you have your fans at the front oriented. If those are exhausts or if you just got pure 100% um, positive pressure, I guess it wouldn't be 100% positive because this one looks like an exhaust here at the rear. Uh, but just something to note there, a very beefy cooler, kind of covering up most of your motherboard as expected with those larger Noctua coolers. Um, overall though, 
pretty sick build. Let's take a look at the setup. Okay, first thing, these monitors really make a statement. Uh, these monitor speakers, I should say, and the monitors themselves, the monitor speakers and the and the panels themselves. Really nice orientation. I, I like how you have this set up. It looks very ergonomic. Like, you know, sometimes you have uh, people who mount two monitors stacked like this, and the top one isn't really tilted. It's just like st as straight as a board. And I feel like that, that's gotta not be great for viewing angles and stuff, or just like, you know, neck fatigue and that sort of thing. But this looks really comfortable. If I'm being honest, and uh, you've got a really nice clean setup of just devices, gadgets, and gizmos for your audio stuff here. You know, it's it's filling up the space, but it's not cluttered at all. Everything looks really nice and tidy. Thank you for having a boom arm for your microphone. Thank you for having a stand for your heads, headphones. It uh, looks like a multiple, yeah, you've got two headphones on that single stand. Very clean, everything has a proper place. And as important as PC cooling is, it's also important to have yourself being cooled as well. So I appreciate the little fan here. That's nice. Uh, nice tabletop as well. I don't think this is an Ikea tabletop or it actually might just be, I'm wondering if you kind of threw this desk together and like bought the stand or the base separately from the tabletop, but it looks really nice. That actually looks like a more premium wood finish than uh, something you'd get at Ikea. Nice job there. Uh, really, really nice. I, I dig in the ambient lighting too, right? Uh, sort of like this, this orange kind of pastel-y glow all over your walls and stuff. Looks really good. You've got it behind your desk as well. Was there another picture? Yes. Thank you for providing another shot. Nice uh, full-size mouse pad for your keyboard and mice. You've got two mice there. And uh, wrist rest. Yeah, dude, this is this is looking really nice. Also, I love the fact, thank you, for centering your monitors and your whole desk with the window behind it. I think that just might be an OC OCD thing, but I think it makes a huge difference. That definitely seems intentional. Well done there, dude. I don't really have much to complain about here. Again, these are all really premium setups that uh, you can tell people have spent a lot of time thinking about and planning out. So it makes sense that there wouldn't be a whole lot to critique here. Oh yeah, and cable management is is on point too. I don't see a single cable out of place again, um, just like the last setup. So very nice job there. I think that's pretty much it. Can you, you wanna invite me over sometime? We'll drink some Japanese whiskey. 3V Duds, R9 5900X, a EK water block cooler, RTX 3090 Kingpin, Hydro Copper, whoa, Kingpin, that's some serious business. Gigabyte X570 Ultra, 32 gigs of G-Skill, 3800 CL14. We've got a WD Black 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte setup, Leon Lee, PCO 11D, XL, other stuff. All right, PC first, whoa, yeah, yeah, buddy. Digging it, digging it. Look at this Kingpin card, good God. Fully blown, full loop, Kingpin hard. Wow, that's that's nice. I've actually never used a Kingpin card in a personal build before, but it really is like EVGA's cream of the crop card and one of the best sort of uh, aftermarket GPUs that uh, that money can buy. Obviously there's custom VRM going on, custom everything, aftermarket, uh, all the things, but they also bin a lot of their GPUs uh, to overclock a lot faster, hence the Kingpin name. Uh, very nice though, you've got this beautiful distro plate that's been used beautifully, but I love the distro plate, it looks awesome, and you've just executed all these runs beautifully, it seems. Um, you know, obviously it's kind of hard to tell from a single angle if, you know, how straight uh, certain runs are, but at least from here, it looks fantastic. Practically perfect, like these bends, th these two runs here, I think which are the most important uh, uh, in the whole build, visually speaking, because they're just front and center. I think they look really spot on, like super parallel, you know, no no sagging or anything like that. So nice job there. Cable management is top notch, no complaints. Nice custom sleeved cables, or maybe there was just a kit, but either way, it looks great. I love the way these Unifans look in this build. I think it just makes it look really futuristic, you know, almost kind of like Tron-like. Um, just, just, I don't know, these fans are great for accent lighting and stuff. How they uh, actually had the lighting on the sides of the fan uh, case or the fan frame, a chassis, or whatever you want to call it, as opposed to the blades themselves. I think it just works really well in a build like this. And the lighting that they're shining off also reflects really nicely on, on this case because the interior is white, which bounces off light a lot better than if you were to be using a black case. So overall, fantastic build. Let's take a look at the setup. Just this single picture here. Haha. -ha. Okay, this is uh, this definitely makes it on my top list uh, for today of like minimalistic setups. This is super minimal. There's not a whole lot going on, but it is just so damn clean. It just looks so clean. And where are your cables? I don't see a single cable apart from your headphones. I don't see a single cable. This guy right here, that's it. Wow. Uh, what are you using underneath your desk? I wish there was a shot underneath your desk and we can kind of see how you have this set up. Obviously you've drilled some holes in the wall in order to make this happen because I don't see a single cable hanging from your monitors. Beautiful monitor arrangement, by the way. The triple displays and the one on top uh, is very similar to what I have here, minus minus the one on top. I have a, a wall-mounted PC instead. Uh, but this looks fantastic, dude. And I even love 
this, you know, kind of whimsical musical thing. You're obviously a musician or, you know, I don't know, music is important to you somehow, but this looks really great. And it kind of matches, you know, it's just pure black, very color neutral, even matches your, your desktop wallpaper. I love the peripherals, love the mouse pad. The black and white color scheme is really doing it for me. You've really driven that home with uh, just, you know, subtle touches, like within your system, not only that, but you've got this like black and white Porsche model here, black and white on your headsets. Uh, even your chair is is, uh, is matching that color scheme. So everything just feels really put together and it's just so damn clean. Can I say clean enough times while looking at this setup? I don't think I can. I also wanna comment on just where this setup is. It looks like it's not necessarily in a bedroom, but rather like a living room or kind of like a foyer or something like that, which damn, if I walked into someone's house and this was just in one of the common areas, like a setup like this, I would, I would just, I'd be geeking out hard. This is super cool. Uh, I'm wondering if you're the only one who uses it, uh, uses the setup, or if it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe you've got kids or a significant other who also uses it, and that's why it's the common area. Um, either way, it looks great. It fills up the wall perfectly. It's a good size space for this, uh, for this setup as well, and everything just came together really nicely. So good job, sir. I, I am impressed. Youngi, okay, Youngi, we've got uh, peripherals first there. You guys can read that over. Corsair 4000X, AMD Ryzen 5 2600, Corsair H100i Platinum SE, ROG Strix B450F, and an RTX 3070 Ti for the Win 3 Ultra, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro, DDR4 3000, and a Supernova G3. Okay, no individual PC pictures, so we'll just look at the setup first. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing this one thinking, yep, this is going in this video. This is pretty sweet, dude. This this is really, really sweet. Um, there's a lot going on here. First of all, dig the monitor setup. You've got uh, two panels side by side um, that are you know, touching, touching bezels, good. And then you've also got this vertically mounted one that looks like it might be resting on the desk, I'm not sure. Uh, but you got these two at least on on a, uh, like sort of a, an arm mount that's mounted to your desk. This is, oh, I think it's uh, actually, it's also housing this monitor up top. So I can see the, uh, the monitor stand right there. So that looks really good. And th this one's just kind of standing alone. And ordinarily I would, you know, knock, knock you for having this gap uh, between these two panels, but because you also have the gap up top and they're both like equidistant from, from this panel, it just kind of works and it just looks nice and, and ergonomic and stuff. So yeah, it looks it looks really clean. I'm also loving these 3D wall panels. You know, you, you see these more and more often, um, but I think they look really cool, particularly because of how they're, the, the, the texture creates a lot of natural shadows when you have, when you integrate RGB lighting into the setup as well. Kind of almost get this like two-tone effect. It, it adds a lot of depth and, and character to a setup. This is terrifying. This is Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know <laughs> what this is, but <laughs> he's staring at me, and I, I'm, not, I'm very uncomfortable. Um, I love the, uh, the the wall mounted shelf here that you have on. That you've got some figurines on display, and is that Master Chief or someone holding a controller? That is awesome. I really like that a lot. I'm wondering if that's just a if that figurine is meant to hold that controller, or if you just somehow made those two things work together. Either way, awesome idea. And for your headset holder, you've got this crystal skull that um, is also just kind of uh, kind of creepy. Kind of creepy, but cool. Definitely less creepy than than bear over here. Uh, what is this? A clock? I think this is a clock, perhaps in military time. Looks like you've got a diffuser over here. Nice setup of peripherals. I appreciate the RGB mouse pad, and uh, of course all the RGB glow that you've got going on behind your, your your desk. But I wish that you could get a diffuser. Now I'm gonna be a hypocrite here and say you need a diffuser to, to eliminate these hot spots when I clearly have a bunch of LED hot spots in my own setup right now that I'm planning to fix. I'm, I'm gonna address that at some point, but um, maybe we can do it together. I also really like this sign. Is this a custom sign that you made, one that you bought? I really like it and the fact that it's illuminated and stuff. Yeah, you can see the hotspots here, but I feel like this isn't quite as distracting and almost kind of looks like um, intentional uh, compared to like this LED strip right here. This kind of looks like those, like the bulb lighting, you know, that surrounds signs and like places like Vegas and stuff. I really love that and how there's sort of this cutout with your shelf to sort of highlight that even more with more RGB lighting at the top. Points for having your mic on a boom arm. And what is what is this actually standing? What is, what is your headset standing on? Is this like a mini fridge? This might be a mini fridge or something. It's always good to have a few brewskis on hand. Your PC looks really awesome as well. It's kind of far away and lighting's not the best, so it's hard for me to see exactly what's going on. But from what I can tell, things look like they're matching nicely. You got some RGB lighting in here. Cable management is on point. I'm um, wondering if these GPU cables could be trained a little bit better, but again, it's just too hard to see. Um, your PC looks fantastic. I'm just nitpicking at this point because virtually everything about this setup is perfect. Um, and cable management is really good as well. Yeah, you can see a few cables coming from the back of your PC. Not too bad though, it's not distracting. 
virtually no cables coming from your monitor other than like ones that are right behind the monitor stand. So it's good that you actually put those cables routed them behind the stand and not just drooped them down. And overall, very, very nice setup. It looks like you even have one of those like starry night projectors like, like I have, because I can see little speckles of light all around your setup. That definitely adds a nice touch. So fantastic job, sir. Moving on, BHM 9600K, 16 gigs of Corsair RAM, RTX 2060 Super, Prime Z390A, one terabyte Intel NVMe, two 144 hertz Spectre monitors, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, PC first, uh, I think it was this one. Okay, tempered glass side panel, lots of reflections. Okay, looks good. You got a toy car, a little uh, model car in here as well. Um, and a the Enterprise at the Enterprise, very nice. Is this a rock? What the hell is this? This looks like something or, more organic in your build. I can't tell what that is. Uh, but uh, cable management, good, very, very good. Airflow, good. Lots of airflow coming in here. Intakes on the side, and then you've got exhaust at the top. Um, black and white color scheme, can't go wrong. I appreciate you swapping out some of the expansion slots for, uh, for black ones, get that two-tone action going on there. Good attention to detail, sir. Uh, yeah, nice, nice build. Don't really have any complaints there. And for your set up. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. This is looking really good. Dude. Okay. Again, with these uh, 3D wall art, these wall panels, they're very, they're very popular. I, I kind of wanted to use them at some point for my own setup, but then I started seeing more people using them. Like, no, I'm going to get accused of copying so-and-so and, and being unoriginal, but I don't think they're unoriginal. I just think they're, they're popular for a reason because they look super dope. And I think you've done a nice job of filling up this entire wall. Definitely uh, makes an impact and looks like you did a pretty good job applying them. There's probably one, one little uh, crevice I can see here. Maybe not perfectly put together, but honestly, it's, it looks really cool and definitely adds a special something to your setup. I really like the uh, the monitor configuration here, side by side, very clean on a aftermarket stand that's fixed to your desk. Nice assortment of peripherals as well. Got the black and white color scheme going on. Uh, Digging the uh, the RGB light. So the RGB bulb in this lamp, how it's matching your, your um, what are these called? Neon sign, the neon sign over here, same color. That uh, That's that's a nice touch. That's a, that's a really nice touch. Uh, you've also got some RGB lighting over here that's maybe blue, some white behind your desk. Everything's looking really nice though. It comes together nicely. You also have a very nice uh, chair that matches your setup perfectly. Um, and I'm also appreciating how your desktop wallpapers even are uh, very cohesive with the rest of your theme. And uh, the shelf here with the, uh, the black shelf with the, uh, the white boxes. What are these called? Baskets, baskets, they're called baskets, Kyle. <laughs> the white baskets on the black shelf. Again, everything just looks so good. And uh, the wall mounted shelves look good as well. Um, let, I think, let me see, what's, what's another picture here? Oh, okay, here's a closer picture of the desk area. Yes, boom arm, uh-huh. I thought this was a Gatorade bottle. Anyone else think this was a Gatorade bottle at first? Just me, okay. Apart from that, cable management looks pretty good. I see one little cable hanging down from here. Is this from your PC or your monitor? I can't really tell. Underneath your desk looks pretty good for the most part. I think you have this one cable that looks a little weird, but I think that's just going to your headset. Maybe you're just charging it and stuff, which uh, is acceptable. I will, I will give that a pass. Let's take a look at this picture of the other corner of your room where we can get a bit more of an idea of what's going on over here. I, I'm digging the plant, the, the large plant here. I'm a huge fan of greenery in the gaming room, on the setup, wherever. And I really appreciate that you have some uh, some RGB accent lighting behind it just to give it more of a presence. Looks really clean, man. Uh, my one critique here, looking at this side, is this looks a little cluttered, I would say. You know, you've got a lot of stuff going on here. Maybe cut this down to three or four items instead of the, I don't know, dozen or so things it looks like that are on here. Maybe we just clean it up a bit more. And for some reason, you've got a framed picture of a football player that's partially obfuscated by the large format TV here. So I don't know, maybe you can relocate that to somewhere more visible so you can just see it in full. Uh, but overall, very, very nice setup, dude. This is a dream setup, honestly, that I'm sure most of us, if not all of us, would be super happy to game at. Moving on to the next one. Switch keys. I built a new house in Japan last year. We had a small room made just for my PC activities. Nice. I'm a, I'm a disabled vet who spends his time gaming and redoing my setup weekly. Holy moly. You can catch me on Instagram, Switch Keys, 9900K, and EVGA RTX 2080 Ti, 32 gigs Trident Z RAM, Lian Lee, EK Distro, Apple cool fittings, bunch of stuff. Okay, cool. Let's take a, a, a wider shot. Let's get a wider shot of your setup. Whoa there. Okay, cool. First of all, love the color scheme, obviously and you've got some crazy decor choices going on here that I'm really into. I, I love the hexagonal, he hexagonal, the, the stop sign panels, the the, uh, the hex panels are really doing it for me. I Are these illuminated? It looks like, okay, no, that's just the reflection of the RGB light that you have going on behind your desk and stuff, I think. But um, they look really cool. It kind of just gives it definitely like a futuristic feel. Um, and I feel like I'm in Japan for some reason. Is that is that weird? Is that weird to say? 
Uh, it looks really good and it almost looks like, are these panels in the middle like mirrored? It looks like they're mirrored. At first I thought it was like going into the wall and I was like, what is going on here? Um, this is crazy, but I think they're just mirrored and they're kind of reflecting uh, this part of the room and stuff. Looks really good. Uh, monitors are on point. You've got a stand for, for this one at least. Well, I guess you would have one for this one too, but it looks like it's also, I can't tell if it's floating off the desk or if it's on the, the surface of the desk itself. PC looks good from here. Hard to really see details and stuff, but very very nice. Custom loop, both the CPU and the GPU being water cooled. Love the distro plate. Uh, yeah, awesome job. <laughs> you get points. You get points for me for, uh, for having this cup holder here. You just don't see cup holders integrated into gaming setups often these days, and I think that needs to change. So thanks for setting that trend. Uh, maybe we'll get it started. You also have a nice hook for your, your Oculus. Good job there. It's not just lying out on your desk. So very, very nice. We've also got, let's take a look here. I wish you had moved your chair out of the way, but I think we can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. You've got a monitor there, uh, your peripherals. And yes, this is definitely, we can see here that this is definitely mirrored, uh, these mirrored panels, but everything just looks super cool. Very unique setup. On honestly, and your choice of desktop wallpaper just matches everything else. Like it's coming together very nicely with uh, the mouse pad. You know, this mouse pad just matches very Japanese for sure. I think, are these Japanese characters? Forgive me if they're not, but if they are, I mean, it definitely fits the uh, the environment that you're in. Um, and I think that that actually might be the same exact design that's that's on your wallpaper. No, no wonder it matches so well. Okay, cable management looks fantastic. Like I, I see zero cables. Um, that are out of place and I don't really have many complaints about this this particular setup, honestly. It's looking really good, dude. And also the fact that you have this pattern, it's like a patterned wallpaper behind the hex panels. I think that definitely adds a lot. If it was just a blank wall, this wouldn't look nearly as good. I wanna take one more look at this photo just cause I wanna see how cable management looks underneath the desk. And of course it looks flawless from this angle. Is this a monitor? Is this like a little, this looks like a little portable Asus monitor or something. So it looks like you have like a ledge, like this is actually a ledge or it's resting on some of these um, hex panels and stuff. I wonder what you use that for, or if it's just chilling there, you know, for storage or whatever. I really appreciate how much you've managed to do with such a small space. Uh, like you said, you, you have a house or a place in Japan. I know Japanese homes are really tiny. The rooms are even tinier and it can be kind of difficult, you know, to, to set something like this up. So props there. And also this is interesting. Is this like, is this like a, a, a fake wall? wall or just like a raised wall. Like there's actually like space underneath here. Like it looks like you could just put your hand under and reach into the next room or something. I wonder what's going on there. Must be a Japanese thing. CSL 619, the work PlayStation. It's not much, but it does the job. Oh, look how modest you are. Your PC is a Fractal Design Meshify C, Noctua F12, Chromax Black Rear, okay, Gigabyte B450 Aorus Pro, Ryzen 5 2600X, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Turbo, GeForce GTX 1080 WinForce OC from Gigabyte. You've got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX 3200 speed, lots of storage, peripherals, monitors, all that stuff. Okay, let's take a look at this guy first. All right. Okay, this is this is another clean, super clean, minimalistic setup. I think this one and the second setup we looked at are the two, by far, the most minimal setups that we have on this list. And uh, yeah, this looks really good. This almost looks like it could be straight out of a catalog. Like, look at that. Like, th this is something you would see in Fractal Designs, like, brochure like marketing pamphlet or something. It looks super clean. Uh, dig in the wall shelves, kind of, uh, you know, they're kind of offset and stuff. I like that. Your monitors look really good. You've got a Predator display here, another Dell on the side vertically. And this is, I love how this is just floating and it's it's just aligned really well and uh, touching the bezel of, of your primary display. It looks really good. Cable management leaves nothing to be desired, honestly. I, I cannot see a single flaw in your cable management, sir. Very nice job. Um, what is this? What is this guy over here? Icy box. Is this like a NAS? Is this a, is this a NAS going on here? What is what is an icy box? I'm not sure. I could look it up, but I'm, I'm not going to. A uh, nice little uh, mechanical keyboard tester here. Beautiful mechanical keyboard. You're 60%. Oh, God, you guys are killing me. I want to build one so bad. Uh, this looks so good. The color scheme is perfect for this setup. I mean, you've got you know these shades of brown, you know, and beige that uh, that are found elsewhere in your setup. It just ties things together. Uh, nice, just super clean black on black mouse pad, wrist rest, and mouse. This is a bow. Bluetooth speaker, I believe. So are you are you using this connected to your PC? Or is this just for like music that you're playing off your phone? I'd be curious, I'd be very curious. Let's look at the PC. All right, cable management on point, just as good as it is in, in your setup. Fans look like they're oriented the correct way. 
Uh, I can't really see the front ones, but I'm sure they're fine. Set as intake, nice cable sleeving, and black on black, just like pure black, no RGB. Awesome, I appreciate that, and uh, it's refreshing to see. And yeah, I, I can't, I can't see a single thing wrong with this PC, honestly. It looks really good. Going back to this picture, beautiful. Uh, you've got your headset on a little uh, hook here, and I, I like that the hook has like, some wood on it. You know, the wood matches your desk. Is that part of the desk? Maybe that's part of the desk. Looks really clean. Um, and then the wood also matches the the uh, the wood shelving that you've got on the walls. Like, it just all came together so nicely. I. I just absolutely love this hanging plant. This just looks so aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, and then you've got a little guy here complimenting it. Just such a such a clean setup, dude. I, I really love this one. Norusuke, rate my setup, guys. That's all it says, no context, no specs, single picture. Let's see, yes, yes. I knew I had to have this one in this video. The second I saw it, it is probably one of the most unique setups on this list. And uh, that wall-mounted PC, we're twinsies, bruh. Uh, I gotta love, you gotta love a wall-mounted PC, especially when it's executed this well and you don't see any cables hanging down from it. It's just a thing of beauty, it really is. And then you've got these like, these have to be custom panels that you, carved out whatever um, that uh, you put on the wall with these little figurines on these wall stands and floating shelves. It's so good, it's so good. The black and white color scheme. And you definitely got like an anime theme going on as well, right? And like all of this artwork looks like it's of the same art style, uh, which just flows really nicely. Got the uh, the desktop wallpaper, that's anime, the figurines, um, more over here. I love this little assembly, this uh, this wall mounted panel with more figurines. It's, it's like form and function, right? Cause you've got certain figurines here, a little things to spice it up and add, add a lot of personality, but it's also a really great spot for a lot of your things, like your cables, AirPod, uh, tablet, controller, RGB remote, water bottle. It's just, I don't know, very, very well thought out. The boom arm looks great. I love how it's black and white, just like the rest of your setup. The peripherals, this keyboard looks awesome. Uh, the colors, like the, the RGB colors, not the RGB, but you know, the more um, lively colors, green, red, blue, yellow, those are also matching certain elements in the rest of your setup, like your desktop wallpaper and the RGB on your pump block. So, oh, I really love how unique this setup is. And these walls, look at these walls. They're so they're so stylized. They're, they're black and white brick. And again, just matches the rest of the setup beautifully. Nice uh, stand for your headset. I, I, I kind of, I'm kind of in love. I'm kind of in love with this setup. I'm in love with all these setups, but uh, awesome PC too. It looks like you also have a custom, oh, I just noticed you have more custom work done on your PC. Like this whole entire, this like paneling that you've got, you know, some like Japanese characters on and some artwork and stuff with like cutouts for fans. What a build, dude. The more I look at it, the crazier it gets. Um, just excellent job. Excellent, excellent job. Is this desk custom made too? It is. I'm pretty sure you DIY'd almost everything in this setup because you've got the same sort of stylized paneling and stuff on the top. Is this RGB lighting? Does this light up on the sides? I mean, I'm already impressed enough as it is, so either way, but cable management looks great too. I mean, it's I haven't even like thought about cable management because I'm so, there's so much like stimulus overload here in a good way. Everything just looks so fantastic. Job well done, sir. Red Sage, hello, pretty new here. Ah, welcome to the Workhorse Discord, my friend. It's good to have you. Very recently moved rooms and I had to repaint it and organize my furniture to utilize the small space as efficiently as possible. Here's the room as I finished it and my loft bed desk setup. Did everything myself. Also here are the specs for anyone interested. 5800X, MSI X470 Gaming Pro, MSI 2080 Ti Gaming X Trio, 32 gigs T-Force Delta 3300, 128 gig uh, HyperX boot drive, two terabyte, duh, 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 duh. okay. Um, all right, sweet, let's take a look at the setup. Actually, let's look at the building. Build first, build first. Oh my gosh, kitty, kitty, cute cat. Uh, all right, setup is, it's kind of a funky angle. I can't really see everything nicely, but uh, from what I can tell, very nice build, good cable management, looks good. Black and red color scheme. Got some custom uh, cable mod hosing on your tubing for your AIO. Little fan here, help uh, cool down your GPU. Yeah, yeah. I dig it, looks good. All right, let's take a look at the setup here. Yes, yeah, this is so dope. This is super, super cool. I am a huge fan of desk setups or gaming setups that are underneath like bunk beds, you know, that, that are configured this way. I, I just think it looks really cool and I appreciate how efficiently the space is utilized in setups like these. So well done there. I think uh, this is super unique. It also just makes it really cool. I feel like the, this is a weird thing, but I feel like the framing underneath your bed, how it's kind of like almost like a grill or whatever, kind of adds to the industrial look of your setup overall. It's kind of doing it for me. And like how you've got some stuff hanging down, you know, it's, it's like this, this little like nook. It's like a little little cave that, uh, that you can game at. It's really cool. Um, I, I love the rug. I love the rug. It matches perfectly with the rest of your setup, the walls of your room. You're right. This is a very small space and there's no way 
that you could have fit all this stuff comfortably, I would imagine, if it was just like against this wall or something like that. So you improvised and you improvised very well. Cable management looks on point. At first I thought it was messy cable management. When I first looked, looked at this picture because I saw your desktop wallpaper threw me off. I was like, oh, cables, that's just the artwork. Uh, but underneath your desk looks really clean. I don't really see too many cables running amok on top of your desk either. You got a boom arm for your microphone. Good job. Um, we can get a closer look here. All the lights are off though, ambient lights are off. You got an RGB LED strip here. Again, if we can get a diffuser on that, I think that would look pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm not one to, to comment on that, but um, I think that would look really nice. You also have, what is this? Okay, this is just the before pictures, right? In the, the early humble beginnings of uh, of setting all this up. I mean, the fact that you, you said that you did all this yourself, right? So you've got this, uh, the Ikea, I think it's called the Alex, Alex drawer, uh, and then probably Ikea tabletop perhaps, or something similar. It's hard to tell if you mounted this tabletop to the wall or if it's resting on, uh, let's say like this guy right here and something else on the left, but either way, looks pretty good. That's oh, the cutest pink thing I've ever so seen cute. in my life. Okay, yeah, another shot of your PC here in better lighting. Looks, looks fantastic, man. The only thing I will say is is maybe you could train your cables a little better. They look a little bit crooked in areas, but I know that sometimes it just comes with the territory with uh, the type or the brand of uh, cable kit that you get. Um, overall though, looks looks fantastic. Like I'm just, I'm trying to nitpick here. Okay, here's a picture of the other side of your room where, wow, this is really a tiny room. It's normal size and fully functional. This is a super tiny room, but you've managed to do a lot in, in very little space, which I commend you for, sir. Uh, oh, N64, get it, boy. And then what else do we have here? Some other consoles? This is like an older PlayStation 3, maybe. What is this? I'm sure you guys will probably let me know in the comments what console that is, if it is a console. This looks really dope, though. Uh, I love the TV, how it's on stand, and you have enough speaker power here to power 30 of these rooms. You had to have brought this from a previous place where you had more space. I can't imagine you bought this after moving into this room. It would just be bumping. I'm sure your neighbors hate you when you crank this up, <laughs> if you do. No, I'm sure you're very respectful. Uh, either way, it looks insane. Um, I like the uh, the lighting, how you've got some some certain things glowing here, like this light, maybe it's a diffuser, another maybe anime-ish looking light. Is that is that Naruto? I'm not sure. Uh, we have a nice light here, nice lamp, and even your sandals, even your slippers match your setup and your room perfectly. That's not attention to detail. I don't know what is. Beautiful setup, dude. I, like uh, our friend who lived in Japan, you know, his setup was pretty small as well, but you guys have really blown me away with what you've managed to do in such a small space. And I think it's uh, definitely, definitely uh, in inspiring for me me because um, there's some rooms that uh, I have at home that don't have a lot of space where I'm just like, uh, how do I actually make this come together? And you guys have already given me a lot of ideas just from this video alone. So that's it. Those are all the setups that uh, are officially flexing on you today. But which one do you think was the absolute best? Well, which one was your favorite? I shouldn't say best. Which one was your favorite? That sounds more subjective because it is. Let me know which, which setup you like the best. I guess you can name it by name or whatever, the, either the person's name or I don't know, 